How's it going guys and welcome back to the channel for another Star Wars game news video. Now I haven't done one of these for a few weeks now as we're taking a bit of a step back from covering micro news and just you know waiting for the good stuff. But seeing as it's been a few weeks as you can imagine some stuff has happened and most of it was in the past couple of days. So we have some Star Wars game news to get to. Finally EA have actually acknowledged the existence of Star Wars games in their recent earnings call. EA CEO directly mentioned Jedi Fallen Order and what's going on with Respawn's latest outing into the Star Wars universe. So I'll show you guys the transcript for the earnings call in this video, what was said and what it could mean. There is also some positive news for LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga and we have a new Star Wars game confirmed to be getting delayed. So it's a real mixed bag today but for me the positives far outweigh the negatives so we'll of course dive into all of that in the video. But first, if you want to be kept up to date on all things Star Wars games, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and let me know down in those comments below what Star Wars games you hope to see revealed in the near future. And I just want to mention, guys, that there will be a video dropping roughly a week after this video is posted. We're doing something that we have never done on the channel before. I'm really excited about it. Been putting a lot of work into it. Totally different format. And yeah, I've been putting a lot, a lot of work into it. So make sure you have those notifications on. But for now, let's dive into it. So we'll get the bad news out of the way first before we get to the good stuff. There will be timestamps on this video if you're only interested in the good stuff, but anyway. We have a new Star Wars game confirmed to be getting delayed. That game is Star Wars Hunters. So Star Wars Hunters, you either cared about it a lot or you couldn't give a toss about it. So this news might not be much of a care for some people, hence the timestamps. So Zynga the other day released their bookings for the latest quarter and as a result of this, some news for Star Wars Hunters was made. So it seems there is a lot of delays going on for Zynga and as a result of that, Star Wars Hunters will also be getting delayed from 2021 to 2022. But it does say that the game will still have a soft launch in Q4 2021, so that's probably not the news Hunters fans were looking for. I'm not really going to go into my thoughts on this personally as I'm not going to lie, I never really cared for this game at all. But I mean, I've of course got to cover it for those of you who do, as this is a Star Wars game news video. But broader picture here, this kind of just adds to the terrible year Star Wars games have had. We had the Lucasfilm Games news in January, which granted was absolutely amazing. But if it wasn't for that, this year would be one of the worst ever for Star Wars games. Somehow worse than 2020. Since January, it's just been bad news after bad news, just one thing after the other. And I've been very vocal about my disdain towards that this year. So I'm not going to hammer that home anymore. Hunters is delayed, so make of that what you will. But we're going to jump over to what most of you guys are probably watching this video for. So Jedi Fallen Order. EA, for the first time, have acknowledged the Jedi Fallen Order franchise since EA CEO went and made a comment saying that Jedi Fallen Order was greenlit to be a franchise after its huge amounts of success. So that was said a while ago now. Now, we have known that Fallen Order was basically the most unofficial, official Star Wars game, like, ever. We all knew that it was in development, except for the super skeptical, despite the hints from EA and the numerous job listings and industry insiders spilling the beans. But EA themselves just hadn't revealed anything concrete official about it. And in EA's last earnings call back in, I think it was May, they did not even mention Star Wars, apart from a throwaway line about Galaxy of Heroes, which understandably pissed a lot of people off. Well, EA had their quarterly earnings call the other day and EA CEO did finally talk about Star Wars in a way that had no correlation to a mobile game. This is what he had to say. The remaster of the first three Mass Effect games reignited the passion of fans around the world driving sales performances well above our expectations. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order coming to the Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5 was also a moment for new and returning players to jump into that amazing game. We are continuing to invest in both of these franchises, as well as more of our amazing IP. So, EA have officially confirmed that yes, Fallen Order as a franchise, it's still a thing. It's still happening. I still don't see why this couldn't have just been announced at EA Play Live. Like, I just don't get it. Like, why go into an earnings call two weeks later and confirm things are still going ahead with the Fallen Order franchise? if you're not just going to put it in the event and just piss people off because nothing's there at all. It's just, this entire thing doesn't really make sense to me. But regardless, this is good news for once, some actual good news. At least right now, we don't have to worry in the slightest about Fallen Order sequel not seeing the light of day. It's pretty common for us Star Wars fans to get a little bit nervous when games start to go quiet because 99% of the time, it means there is a delay coming or the game has been cancelled. 
there's probably been more delays and cancellations for Star Wars games in the past 10 years than there has been actual games. In fact, there definitely has because we've only gotten four games. I seriously still can't believe we've only gotten four games in 10 years. Like, dude, that is just so bad. But anyway, brighter times are ahead, it seems, at least. And for Fallen Order fans, which is basically everyone with a brain cell, we can rest easy for now. Some comforting news providing that there is no cancellations before EA Play Live next year. This game will almost certainly be getting revealed. So the wait continues, but we can actually relax. But now moving on to the LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga news. The last hope for a Star Wars game coming out in 2021 because of Star Wars Hunter's delay. This game has just been a mess over the past year. Is it coming? Is it going? What the hell is going on with this game? Well, we have some slightly positive news regarding it that has come out recently. So a TT Games employee who worked on LEGO Star Wars by the name of Alex Harkin announced he's having his last week at TT Games. He said in a tweet, Last week at TT Games this week, truly the end of an era after spending my first five years in the industry there. Not to worry, those waiting for LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga in safe hands. So some slightly reassuring news in very shaky times for LEGO Star Wars. Now, someone leaving might be a cause for concern to the untrained eye, but it's totally normal for changes to happen when projects are nearing completion or of course are completed. So this could very well show that the Skywalker Saga is actually nearly done. This game was originally supposed to come out around this time last year, so it's been a big delay. But if this is any indicator, then we might just be seeing this game actually release this year. Because if it doesn't, then it's a big yikes for Star Wars fans. It would leave 2021 as just a tease of a year. It's been a tease from start to finish with zero payoff. So hopefully the Skywalker Saga can actually release and doesn't receive yet another delay. And judging off this here, I don't think it will. So fingers crossed LEGO Star Wars fans, your time could be coming really soon. We do have Gamescom right around the corner. That's going to be taking place from the 25th to the 29th of this month. So I think there is at least a small chance we could see something there for LEGO Star Wars. So keep an eye out for the event. I will of course cover it if anything does come of it. So guys, that's pretty much all the news we've got for today's video. Make sure you go ahead and let me know down in those comments which of the three games in this video you're most excited for. And of course, drop a like on this video if you did enjoy it and helped get it out there. And guys, remember, stay tuned for my next video. I am really, really excited about it. And provided that there is no sudden Star Wars game news, it will probably be the next video that gets uploaded onto the channel. So make sure you hit that notification bell. And if you aren't subscribed, what the hell are you doing? It's free. Alright guys, that's pretty much going to do it for me today. Thanks for dropping by and I'll see you guys real soon with a big video. Take care.